For those tackling web design in Figma, I wanted to run through my top five most used plugins for web design. Let's get started. First up, at over 700,000 downloads, the most popular plugin in Figma is Unsplash. And for good reason, simply boot it up, search and click on the royalty free image you want to use and it'll drop it right there on the page. You can keep clicking to import multiple images. And if you click on a layer before you insert the image, it'll happily replace the layer's contents with the image. So much quicker than booting up your browser, going to the website, searching, downloading, dragging and dropping it from your downloads folder. The only caveat I think is that it can't support drag and drop. So I'm always reminding myself, click, don't drag. Coincidentally, also the second most downloaded plugin in Figma is Iconify. Now the Iconify interface is a little clunky. There's a lot of search paths going on, but it's great when you need to quickly drop in an open source icon for web design. It's also handy if you're after a particular icon. You can search all these libraries at once and find a library that'll have what you need within its suite. Now I've put this in the web design category because if I'm doing product design, it's a very different process. You wanna be sourcing all your icons from one icon library and mount each icon within the library as a Figma component for use within a larger design system. Now, plugin number three. First up, I wanna put up a disclaimer. I always try to write in proper copy as I design, but sometimes you just need some good old boilerplate copy. The Lorem Ipsum plugin is a super simple way to do just that. It lets you define a word count or a number of paragraphs, and it'll drop that into a selected text layer. Simple. Just a side note, if you're designing for interfaces, you'll probably be better off with the data generator plugin like Microsoft's Content Reel. There are a few others out there. If you kick off a project with your own starter file, Batch Styler is a must-have plugin. As the name suggests, you can quickly update multiple text and color styles at once, allowing you to quickly establish your project's brand and get designing in minutes, not hours. Finally, MapMaker is a great plugin for generating rasterized maps for free, perfect for contact pages or any kind of restaurant slash store locator. You can even choose between Google Maps or Mapbox, so you're covered no matter which map service your client is using. But the ultimate flex is that you can copy in JSON from Snazzy Maps and get a real nice branded custom map in your design. And if you keep that JSON safe somewhere, you can pass that on to your developer for a no fuss dev handover. Finally, consider buying this guy a coffee because I suspect he'll be paying for a subscription to provide us with all this imagery from Google Maps. And if you allow me a moment of shameless self-promotion, there's also my plugin, Automatic Style Guides. It's a quick way to generate a style guide booklet, and it's personally saved me many hours trying to write out all my styles when a client requests it. I've put a link for that in the description below. And that concludes my top five Figma plugins for web design. Next video, I'll be going through my top five plugins for app design. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out. In the meantime, please let me know what other Figma plugins you find handy for web design in the comments below. Until then, see you next time.